I love seeing all these barrels. It's such a nice feeling, you know, and the smell. It's really. Oh, and these are from other, like, I know this wine, I like it. Uh huh. Because for most of our red wines, we want, we can talk more about it, this is the mm -hmm. wine itself, but we want the, the fruit itself to be the dominant flavor. We don't want the wood to mm -hmm. overpower it. So, something we learned over the years, so we buy a lot of used barrels, and we use our own used barrels okay. at this point. Um, whereas, if you were looking at, show you a new barrel. So, like, the, the flavor of the wood is gone and everything, and it's, it's just, it's much, been it's like, much, it's you know, washed diluted, out yeah, over time, diluted, diluted or whatever. Diluted. Yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. <gasps> Malky, come in here. <laughs> this is the cold room. Can we live in here? <laughs> if you need like that barrel, uh -huh. you know, you need to plan in advance. Yeah, where's the, where's the, you have a computer graphic, I'm sure, of which yeah, one yeah. is which, because yeah, I'm yeah. seeing no labels here, so. Yeah, you know, they're all, they're all, they're it's all, all they're marked here. somehow. Yeah, it's all marked. Um, like your slots are, are done a certain way. Yeah, so you put, we're moving these uh, towers around. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And you got to be careful to don't yeah. fall. Yeah. Um, so it's uh, uh, <laughs> It's a logistic. I can see that. Like if you want that barrel back there, you better make sure it's like. Right. Logistics are very, very important. Yeah. So we're not allowed to eat. You can't eat anything in the barrel room. Uh. Because it has to be the coast of the pest out. Right. Until you're Ah. Uh. Um, why are you doing, I mean, I'm just curious from the side, why does it have to be all year round? Because the wine at different times can come out. Well, you, you want the, what's the number one evening of the year? Yes, that's true. And right. you just never want anyone can't to be. can make a pass out wine. That's true. Right. Okay, I just wondered. Like, yeah. I wondered why all wineries, it's just basically kosher wineries or kosher cafes are all the time. Yes, basically. the, the wine making side. Yeah. You know, we've got, you know, well over a million dollars of wine, you know. Sitting in there? Sitting in the two barrel rooms, yeah. Wow. Uh, you know, any little thing, just like, you know, in a hospital, any little thing. Yeah, it spreads. And, and, you know, the chemical process of winemaking, which is something people are doing for thousands of years, is, you know, you add a little bit of yeast, or you add this, or you mm -hmm. add that. Um, we add less, we add fewer things than some wineries, um, because there are some wineries that could add things to speed up mm -hmm. the fermentation process, mm -hmm. and we're trying to turn around Make the wine very yeah. quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, some wineries might, big large commercial wineries might throw something in to kind of control the flavor. What it often does is it dilutes the flavor to the point where it's drinkable wine. You can try and get yeah. hammered or whatever. Or even just drinkable yeah, wine. Yeah, it's like an everyday, like, stam wine just, that you just want to, yeah. yeah. Um, but, but, but missing flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, where the process here or most boutique wineries is you try to heighten the flavor mm -hmm. as, much as, as much as you can. Mm -hmm. 